Hi class. Um, I am going to go ahead and get into this week's discussion about uh, morality. Um, so the three that we went over was um, fair play, character, and internal consequences. Um, the one that holds the most value or meaning personally to me actually changed I would have probably went before reading and actually truly thinking about it, would have probably chose the first one, but I'm going to choose character. And the reason I choose that is because personally, if I truly believe that it starts with yourself, right? So if you have good values and you're really taking a look at yourself and, you know, if you make a mistake, being able to learn from it and um, really changing the things and at, at the end of the day, being happy with yourself and being able to feel content, I think that then goes in and puts it, it almost puts in a play to make sure that with like, for example, being in harmony with everyone and getting along, I mean, you can fake it for however how long, but in reality, life would be easier if, you know, you were more content it's almost like makes me remind me of the same thing that people say about like self-esteem. If you have better self-esteem, you're going to, you know, have more confidence than somebody that doesn't have as good self-esteem. And I think it's the same way. If you have good character, it's easy. It comes natural from even, you know, working as you practice. I mean, things you want to change will then become natural. And then when you're in the working along with others, it's going to be easier to get along with them and realize be able to, you know, live in heart, exactly what it says, live in harmony. And then for lastly, it almost, if you're able, it goes again, getting along with everyone, it's coming natural. And then being able to have internal consequences where everyone just, if everything flows and everyone's, I think that's where, and I mean, the book says like how, um, like the whole fleet is, ought to be on like one. I think that is, it all just comes in and goes around it's like a full circle, right? But I think to truly have it work and make it easy and natural for someone, it really starts with in, in yourself. Um, you know, I think just like the book says that um, a lot of us go with the first one, a fair play, making sure that, um, you know, we're always because it is, you're always working with someone else, even your work, coworker, you know, anywhere they are, your family is making sure, you know, it works together and it's within harmony, but it's not going to be if you can't have the values. It, because if you're, if your character's not good, then everything else, I just don't see that flowing and working together. And so I think that with, what we need most in the world, especially right now, is people taking, you know, a look at themselves and then seeing how it impacts others, you know, having that mentality of where, what, well, it doesn't bother someone else because it's just me. Um, you know, I, I just look at like down the street, just for an example, down the street, um, there's a house for sale and um, it's been for sale almost a year and all the other houses around us have been sold. Like I think five or six, cause we live in a brand new community and it's been, it's less than two years old. So it's not even up that long, but there has been three other homes I think sold. They're on the market maybe two months. And so the only thing that's different is the house across the street is like they have tarps on their windows now. Um, it is just, it's, it's, doesn't look like a new house and so I think it impacts the house across but they there's a like a Facebook community page for the neighborhood and people comment on it and the owners of that house will say it's my house I don't know why it bothers you guys it's my house and I think it goes back to that like he truly thinks that I mean I agree it's his house but he thinks because that it shouldn't bother anyone else that's his but it is it's an eyesore it's and it's just been getting worse and worse and you know it's impacting the person across the street because they can't sell their house because nobody wants to live across from that so that's why i think the world needs more just being able to take responsibility of your own actions and truly changing you know having different mentality um i don't know i think the world needs a lot um i think that you know I just see like at another example, like what 
for like the first one, which I am totally changing my views from what I would have said before, um, is that the, like being able to cohese and work together and just try to get along. I think that's a lot what, you know, I was brought up being the same way, um, you know, keep my mouth shut and just grow, just, you know, let them do their thing. And I think that even in my, my work, I've seen us have errors and stuff where people just didn't speak up because they just wanted peace. And I think people don't speak their minds because people get offended and they just want to be cohesive and get along. And I think that is, I don't think we need more of that. I truly think people should be able to speak their mind. And as long as it's respectful and it's okay to say, I disagree with something. And, you know, as long as you can connect, you know, get a story and work together. I think that's just important. And I think that is what, you know, the world needs less of and people need to really be able to speak their minds. And overall, I meant, sorry, this video got longer, but I think that that's what I would overall state for this discussion. Um, I enjoyed reading it and thinking about it and I hope everyone has a great week.